Hi, I'm Drew Elliott, real estate agent with Royal LePage RCR Realty out of Orangeville, Ontario. We're here today at uh, my family's tree farm. Uh, started just basically this year, as you can see in the sign, uh, we have Christmas trees and landscaping trees. Uh, 30 years ago, my father bought this property and there was not a tree on it. And it's, uh, it's great to see my brother Derek. Uh, this is the first year he started with the Christmas trees. And uh, the last probably five years we have sold landscape trees. And uh, today what we're gonna do is a little bit of a video. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit how the Christmas trees work. Uh, it's rewarding for me as a, a father and a husband to take kids around on this property. Uh, lack of snow this year, obviously, but it's just cute to see how the kids come cut their own tree. Uh, there's hot apple cider. We have a food truck where you can get uh, you know, some snacks and, and food. We also have a heritage barn that my wife is uh, in charge of where she's brought some vendors in where people can come buy crafts, buy neat gifts, things for Christmas holidays. So we've, we've tried to make it a one-stop shopping place. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give you a little bit of a tour today and show you how it, it all unfolds. Here we are at the Heritage Barn. Uh, this barn is uh, 1850. It's been totally redone uh, when my father bought it in the early 80s. Um, as you can see, and you'll see a little more in the video, the uh, beams, a lot of the uh, infrastructure is all the same, the stone walls, and it's all been redone, resided outside. This is where my wife Melanie has asked local vendors to come and uh, showcase some of their gifts, their uh, Christmas nostalgia. There's some uh, antiques in here. It's a great way while you are cutting your Christmas tree down or your kids are out in the fields having fun on our trails, you can come in here and do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Okay, we're at the entrance where uh, a lot of the vehicles pull into the tree farm here. Uh, what happens is we've got lots of parking over here and we give uh, everyone a map of the farm. Uh, one of the advantages to this property is we've got two groves right now for Cut Your Own. We also have a settler's cabin, which again is uh, 1800s back in the bush with a nice little fireplace going. So it gives the people that are here on the property a chance to you know, bring your dog as long as it's on the leash. The kids have fun. Um, and what I wanted to show you here is this is how a tree is baled. So when you come in from the grove and the tractor picks you up, the tree gets ran through here in the netting and then it gets placed on either the trunk or the hood of your car. We do have a tractor as you can hear in the background and a wagon. Uh, I also want to take you for a little bit of a walk and show you our food truck that we have. So this is Dave Miller, he's with uh, Westside Grill. He also uh, does uh, catering for uh, anyone that would like uh, events catered. He does weddings, uh, receptions, things like that. So what we offer here is uh, pea meal on a bun, uh, we've got uh, hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries, hot apple cider and also hot chocolate. So we've got that covered. And I just wanted to also show you that we have pre-cut trees. We have two types of firs, these are balsam fir, um, already baled as you can see, and then we have Fraser firs. So if you really don't want to go and cut your own tree and you just want to have it, we also have that option as well. Welcome to the five acre bush lot that we do have on the farm. I just wanted to show a picture of the sugar shack. This, uh, my father put this on the property about five years ago. These trees uh, have been confirmed by an arborist that some of these maple trees back here are 250 years old. These have been tapped for the last four springs. Um, and we've done maple syrup back here, strictly for a hobby, a little bit of sales, but uh, more for hobby. And one thing I wanted to talk about with this bush is, you know, growing up here 30 years ago, we always played back here. We always built forts and had fun, and that's how we grew up. Uh, one of the things, my wife and I live just on the neighboring property of this, and our kids love it back here. So, as you can see now in the fall, all the leaves are down, but in the heart of summer, it's beautiful back here. We have a fire over there. And what I wanted to showcase in this video is this cabin I talked about earlier. This cabin was originally from Quebec and it's been moved here. As you can see, the logs are all square logs. When it was brought in to be reassembled, uh, actually the one, there's one log that the crane could not lift. That's how heavy one of these logs were. So they had to bring another crane in. And my dad put this, uh, this porch all around it to protect the log so they'll be here for uh, many generations to come. 
This has also been featured twice in uh, a CBC uh, television series. So um, it's just, it's great that, uh, you know, a television series has came out and thought, hey, you know what, what a beautiful cabin. And they've shot uh, two episodes now uh, in the last four years of this cabin. This is also uh, kind of a central spot for when people are cutting their trees, they can come. There's a fireplace in there. We try and keep, keep it on low. Uh, so people do want to get warmed up while they're cutting the tree. This is kind of like a, a break point for them as well. We're at grove number two currently on the, the tree farm. The, uh, there's two groves, this is the second one. So as you can see, what we have to offer are the blue spruce, uh, white spruce, there's also white pine. Um, some of the trees you might have noticed uh, have lost their needles and they look dead. They're a tree called a tamarack, which are one of my favorite trees. I have a few on my property and they are lush green trees and they turn like a, a bronze kind of yellowish color in the fall and they lose their needles. They're actually the only tree that loses their needles. Uh, they're one of the landscaping trees we have as long as the white as well as the white pine. And um, what we have to do with the tree farm is obviously have these two groves for the next probably three to five years as we plant for the next 10 years down the road kind of thing. So we're always trying to managing where we're cutting. So this is one of the, the second groves and there is a main trail that runs through where the wagon does come and pick up the tree if you don't want to bring it in with the sleigh that we provide. So I just wanted to thank everybody today for taking the tour of the uh, Elliott Tree Farm, whether it's a Christmas tree or a landscape tree. Uh, it will enhance your, uh, obviously your family room at Christmas and with the landscaping trees, uh, enhance and increase the value of your property. Uh, which leads me to one other thing. Uh, my profession, my, uh, my main business is real estate. So I actually have put a lot of trees on clients' properties. Uh, people just love the blue spruce. Uh, I've been in the business for seven years, uh, mainly work out of uh, Orangeville office, so I, I do sell uh, Wellington and Dufferin real estate. I have been known to go back where I grew up in Carlisle, which is a great area. I love Carlisle. A lot of my friends have uh, put their trust in me to buy and sell uh, houses in Carlisle. So uh, mainly though Wellington and Dufferin, um, seven years with Royal LePage, uh, five years President Gold winner. and. Uh, for clients that are watching this, I really do uh, appreciate your business and uh, your loyalty and, and, uh, and in return, I give you my integrity and, uh, and do a great job. So um, having said that, uh, again, I appreciate your time and I uh, look forward to hearing from you. If you would like more information, I do have a website, uh, drewelliot.ca. Uh, look forward to hearing from you and uh, maybe even seeing you at the tree farm.